Nacho Figueres, once a close friend and trusted ally of Prince Harry, now seems to be distancing himself from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, signaling a potential shift in their once tight-knit relationship. Known for their friendship on and off the polo field, Nacho and Harry's bond appeared unbreakable. However, recent developments suggest otherwise, as Nacho showcases his new luxurious polo facility in Argentina. A stark contrast to the current financial struggles Harry and Meghan Markle are rumored to face. This move not only highlights Nacho's thriving status, but also seems to subtly underscore the growing divide between the friends. At the heart of the speculation is Harry's upcoming polo-themed Netflix documentary, a project meant to showcase the sport that has been central to both men's lives. Yet, whispers suggest that Nacho might not want his involvement in the documentary, hinting at a possible rift. While no official statement has been made, this rumored reluctance points to an underlying tension, raising questions about the sustainability of their friendship amidst the ongoing controversies surrounding Harry and Meghan. Adding fuel to the fire, Nacho's wife, Delina Blackyear, has been spotted attending high-profile events such as a goop gathering with Gwyneth Paltrow without Meghan. This absence has not gone unnoticed, sparking rumors of a cooling relationship between the two women. Meghan who once aimed to emulate the success of Paltrow's goop empire with her own lifestyle brand, now finds herself struggling to maintain relevance. The comparison is stark. Where Paltrow has built a thriving, multi-million dollar business, Meghan's brand endeavors seem to be floundering, with frequent criticism that she has failed to carve out a distinct and credible niche. The narrative deepens as Harry and Meghan's perceived opportunism comes under scrutiny. Sources close to Nacho and Delina have allegedly hinted at frustrations with the Sussex's constant requests for favors without reciprocation, suggesting that the couple's attempts to leverage their connections might be wearing thin on those around them. The once warm and supportive atmosphere seems to have shifted, with more friends reportedly distancing themselves from the ongoing drama that follows Harry and Meghan wherever they go. This potential fracture between Harry and Nacho is emblematic of a broader trend the fading of friendships and alliances that once bolstered Harry and Meghan's public image. As their perceived opportunism and relentless self-promotion continue to alienate former supporters, the question looms. How many more bridges will burn before Harry and Meghan find themselves truly isolated? In the end, what was once a strong friendship forged on shared experiences and mutual respect now appears fragile. Caught in the crossfire of Harry and Meghan's increasingly tumultuous public and private lives. The luxury and success that Nacho flaunts in Argentina stand in sharp contrast to the narrative of struggle and opportunism that has come to define Harry and Meghan's post-royal existence, leaving many to wonder just how far the Sussexes have drifted from those they once considered close allies.